Hi, Captain Steve Tarrant here from Maine Maritime Academy, and in this uh, video we're going to be calculating the value of KM using the KB plus BM formula. We're also going to be calculating P, the uh, water plane coefficient, and K, the water plane constant. So uh, imagine you had a vessel that, let's say, displaced, it, uh, displaced uh, 10,000 tons. Its mean draft is 1909. Its length is 465, and its uh, beam, 52. These are feet, feet, this is feet in inches, this is 10,000 tons. Uh, TPI, we're going to need that, uh, is 47.5. I can look that up in the dead weight table for my vessel. And KM is what? Okay, so we're going to use this formula. KM equals KB, okay, uh, plus BM. That's the height of the center of buoyancy, and that's the, uh, the length of the metacentric radius. Um, so we're, I suggest we do this in five steps. So step one, calculate P, okay? Well, it turns out that P is area of the water plane. That's the water plane coefficient, by the way, P, divided by length times beam. And I can break area of the water plane further down into 420 times TPI. Okay? We're not going to derive any of these formulas in this video, we're just going to use them. So, uh, and uh, that's length times beam. So that's step one. Step two, I'm now going to interpolate K. All right, and we're going to need to go to the dead weight scale for that. Uh, step three, I'm going to solve for BM, which is moment of inertia divided by the uh, volume of the displacement. Well, moment of inertia, for this case, this is a merchant vessel is going to be the length times the beam cubed times this k constant that we're calculating in step two. And that is the, uh, um, uh, and uh, the volume of displacement is really the displacement. In this case, let's say the vessel's in uh, salt water, 1.025 specific gravity, uh, is going to be 35 feet cubed per ton. So once I've done that, now I also then need to calculate KB, and for a merchant vessel, that's pretty simple. It's 0.53 times the draft. And then the last step is going to be to calculate KM itself, and that's going to be KB plus BM. Okay? So we're going to do all those steps. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate P using this formula. So let me just slide this out of the way. All right, and we can bring that back if we need it. So, 1, P equals area of the water plane divided by length times beam. Well, area of the water plane is going to be calculated by 420 times TPI divided by length times beam. So now we substitute. Okay? Uh, 420. Uh, TPI is 47.5 divided by length times the beam, 465 times 52. And when I do that, I'm going to get a value for P of 0.8251. Okay, 0 0.8251. All right, great. So I've done step one. Step two, now I'm going to interpolate K. In order to do this, I have to go to the dead weight scale. And um, uh, on the deadweight scale, there is a water plane coefficient uh, and K table over uh, halfway down on the right-hand side. And um, uh, so we're going to go to that now. And if I go to that, what I'm going to now need to do is interpolate. Well, uh, this is the water plane coefficient, also known as P. And if you look at that table, um, uh, the P, you can see there's a 0.80. And below that, there's a, a, a 0.85. And for K, we have 0 0.80. The corresponding K is 0 0.055. And the corresponding K for 0.85 is 0 0.062. Well, 0 0.0825 is about uh, two, a little more than two-fifths of the way between these two. All right? It's like 82. So if you think about this 80, 85, it's 82. So it's a little bit more than two-fifths of the way. So it's going to be about here, which my, means my K value is going to, whatever this proportion is of this, my K value is going to be the same. So I'm looking for this K. I'm not sure what it is yet. I've got to interpolate it. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a proportion. All right. The difference between these two is proportional to the difference between these two, as the difference between these two is proportional to the difference between those two. Okay. So I'm going to set up my proportion now. And so uh, K minus 0 0.055 is proportional to 0 0.062 minus 0 0.055 as 0.8251 minus 0 0.80 is to 0.85 minus 0.80. All right, so now uh, I can break this down a little bit. Okay, when I, I can solve these things, turns out when I do this, that this actually turns out to be uh, point, uh, zero, zero 0.007, okay? That turns out to be point zero zero 0.007. This turns out to be point zero 0.0251, and this turns out to be point zero 0.05, okay? So uh, uh, now what I can do is uh, I got to get rid of this 0.007. I got to get it over onto that side. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 0.007. Those cancel. And okay, 0.007. Okay, I'm going to multiply that. Now I got k minus 0.055. Well, I got to get rid of that 0.055. So what am I going to do there? Well, I'm going to add 0.055 to this side. So plus 0, 0.55, those go away. I have to add 0, 0.055 over here. And now I've got 0, 0.0251 times 0, 0.007 divided by 0, 0.05 plus 0, 0.055, and that is going to be my value of K. Turns out when I do all that, I get a value of 0, 0.0585. Okay, so K equals 0 0.0585. Okay? Great. So, I calculated P. I used P to interpolate K. Now I'm on to BM. So, three. B, BM equals uh, moment of inertia divided by the volume of displacement, which is for a merchant vessel, length times beam cubed times K divided by uh, the displacement times 35 for salt water. So what's my length? Well, my length is 465 feet times 52. Don't forget, you got to cube that times my value of K. And my value of K was 0 0.0585, okay? 0 0.0585, all right? So, now I gotta divide that by my displacement. My displacement, given in the problem, 10,000 tons. And I'm gonna multiply that by 35 Okay, to get rid of my units, and it turns out that after I do all that, my BM is going to equal 10.93 feet. I'm going to go out two decimal places for now, and then I'll round up to one in the final solution. So, we did that. Step four. Step four is KB equals 0.53 times draft. So, KB equals 0.53 times draft. And so that's going to be 0.53 times, well, the draft was, I think, 1909. Mean draft is 1909. So that's going to be 19.75. If you're not sure how I got the, how I converted 9 to 0.75, I just divided it by 12, okay? So that converts it from inches to feet. So it's 19.75, which when I solve, turns out to be... 10.93. Now we're ready to do step five. And step five is the final step, the calculation of Km, this formula here, Kb plus Bm. So, step five, Km equals Kb plus Bm. Well, Kb was 10.93 feet and uh, 
oh, excuse me. This is 10.47, my apologies, okay? So when you do that math, that should be 10.47, my apologies. So this is 10.93, this is 10.47, I'm gonna add those. And when I do that, I get uh, KM, 21.4 feet, okay? And uh, I would round that up to the nearest uh, tenth of a foot. So in this case, there's nothing to do, it's just 21.4, okay? Thank you.